After a seven-year gap, Christian Brothers College are true to the final of the Clayton Hotel's Munster School Senior Cup after a narrow victory over arch rivals Presentation Brothers College at Irish Independent Park. Both sides were off the target with penalty efforts in the opening five minutes, Sean French for Prez and James Taylor for Christians. Christians looked impressive in the opening stages as they threw the ball around, but it was PBC's first attack that produced the opening score. Adherence by Christians out half James Taylor was blocked down by Jack T. O'Sullivan and the Prez number eight gathered and touched down in the corner for the first try after 11 minutes. Four minutes later, Christians opened their account with a penalty by out half James Taylor and now it was Prez's turn to pressurise Christians for a second score. But a great break out of defence by Alex McHenry, carried on by Ross O'Neill, saw CBC fullback Liam Coombs score a well-taken try that Taylor converted to leave the Sydney Hill side 10-5 ahead at halftime. Taylor extended Christians' lead with a penalty on 49 minutes, but Prez responded with a second try. After working the ball into the Christians' 22, scrum half Harry Shanahan sent winger Son French in for a try in the corner, and French expertly converted from the touchline to leave the minimum between the sides. Prez came in search of a winning score, but a disciplined Christians' defence held firm, with Coombs putting in an outstanding display. The full-time score at Irish Independent Park was CBC 13, PBC 12. After a blistering second-half comeback at Thoman Park Stadium that yielded five tries, Crescent Comprehensive also booked their place into the Clayton Hotel's Munster School Senior Cup Final. Castle Troy drew first blood, with hooker Stephen Atkinson getting in for a try and Jamie Houston converted. Castle Troy increased their lead five minutes later, when, following an excellent move from a line-out, prop Connor Myers scored his side's second try to give Castle Troy a 12-0 half-time lead. Full-back Daniel Hurley missed a penalty for Crescent in the opening exchanges of the second half, but 11 minutes into the half, they opened their Count with a try from Peter Hickey, which Hurley converted. Hurley then put his side ahead two minutes later with a super try, which he also converted for a 14 12 lead. Another two try burst by Crescent saw Connor Phillips and skipper Bailey Falloon cross the whitewash, and Hurley converted the latter for a 26 12 lead with just nine minutes remaining. Billy O'Hara then put the icing on the cake for the Duradoy College with his side's fifth try, and Hurley converted to see Crescent take the spoils. Crescent College Comprehensive 33, Castle Troy College 12 was the full time score at Thoman Park. Crescent now face CBC the decider, the side that defeated them 17-5 in the opening game of the competition back in January. The Clayton Hotel's Munster School Senior Cup Final takes place on Sunday March 13th at Irish Independent Park and that's got a 2 o'clock kickoff. Should CBC take the spoils, they will have won the most titles in the competition with 29 titles to their credit. In the Junior Cup semi-finals, next Tuesday March 1st sees PBC take on Crescent at Irish Independent Park. That game has got a half 2 kickoff. while on Wednesday the 2nd of March CBC take on Glinstall, also at Irish Independent Park and also with a half to kick off.